Begin at 11 o'clock with developing news after a grisly discovery at a local park. Thanks for joining us. I'm Aaron Connolly. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mark Zinni. A murder investigation is underway right now after a man was found shot to death and buried in a shallow grave. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Hector Molina has more from Norwich where people want answers. Well, definitely some frightening news for those who frequent Mohegan Park. Those I spoke with today say the park is a quiet, serene place for recreation, exercise, and other outdoor fun for all ages. But after a body was found, they're now questioning their safety. For Eric Wario, Mohegan Park is part of his daily life. 5 a.m. in the morning, walking over here through the park, and then most days when she's off work, I'm spending all day walking through the woods. But on Sunday afternoon, a person walking through the park noticed something sticking out of the ground. Norwich police later found that it was a dead body with a gunshot wound in a shallow grave. Earlier this morning, Eyewitness News spotted several police cruisers and a medical examiner's truck at the park, a site Wario said he saw as well. To think that something like that is just like laying off the side somewhere. Lay, uh, is somewhere in this park, something like that can happen is kind of terrifying. Police say the victim appeared a 5'10 man that looks between the ages of 35 and 50 years old, weighing 150 to 160 pounds, with black hair, a goatee, and missing his top four front teeth. Police add that the man died of a gunshot wound, but believe the murder didn't happen at the park. Gruesome details for Albani Fortuna, who lives five minutes from the park and is a favorite spot for her two kids. How that could happen in our town, you know, where people come in to be like fun with the kids, where they play, and it's something scary. I'm scared right now. And Norwich police are asking anyone with any possible information on this investigation to give them a call. In Norwich, Hector Molina, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.